This is my collection. Look at it. So many dinosauruses. Well, let's go into the video. I'll be reviewing each and every one of these dinosaurs in the order that I got them. So, yeah. And I'll, at the end of each dinosaur's little review, I'll give them a star rating out of 10. Or, out of 9. Review time. First up. There we go. Oh. There we go. <laughs> First up, we have the Scorpius Rex. Uh, Stingin' Roar, I'm pretty sure it is. Hold on. I have a better idea. There we go. Now you should be able to see it better. So this is the Scorpius Rex Stingin' Roar, I'm pretty sure. Because, you know, that. So this toy is pretty good. Oh, out of the way. This toy is pretty good. I actually really like it. It's one of my favorites. I think it might be my second favorite. So over here, we have the tail, and it can go like that. No matter what you do, it'll fling itself back into its original position. Its legs kind of do a thing like that. And then its arms can go like that manually. Its jaw can do this. But if you press, you can see there's a little button right here in a button here so if you press this first button it <coughs> makes it roar <coughs> nice all three different roars in a row that's pretty cool <coughs> and then you press this button yeah and it does that so out of all i think this toy gets eight eight out of ten you know why what really bothers me is the head. I love Camp Cretaceous. It's one of my favorite TV shows. Actually, I think it is. And the Scorpius Rex is my favorite dinosaur. And its head is really cool to me. And they just botched it on the toy. The whole reason that the Scorpius Rex was cool because it was its body. It was so ugly that it was awesome, you know? But on this toy, they made the head, like, perfect. Like, with the Endoraptor or the Indominus, this head would be acceptable. But the Scorpius is not perfect. Whatever. I could honestly go on about that for, like, a couple days. Like, an hour or so. Moving on. Next dinosaur. Remember, this is in order that I got them. So, first was the Scorpius Rex. Sting and roar. Next is the... Like, Extreme Devour Indominus, I'm pretty sure. Dino Rivals. So, first off, the detail on this baby is awesome. Like, look at these arms. Look at the pattern. Look at this little spikes down its back. These little crocodilian spikes are called scutes, I'm pretty sure. Scutes, scutes, I don't know how to pronounce it. But I've seen the word before for it before. So, I like... I know these probably aren't scutes, but I like comparing them to scutes because they're similar. But yeah, and like on a crocodile or an alligator, you have those little bumpies and spikies on the back. Those are scutes. So this is like, it's got a very long middle finger. I think that's in the show, not the show, but, but the movie in the show as well. So it's got like little Allosaurus horns too. Just the detail on this baby is just awesome. So I can do that can do this its legs can move but unfortunately its tail cannot which is a miss out a major miss out on this figure i feel like it would have done it wonders if its tail could do something but anyways so the action features so of course this is the indominus it's a main antagonist so it's got to ha have a lot of cool action electronic features going on. So we have a claw strike thing. That won't get obnoxious. <laughs> and then over on the tail over here. See that right there? That's a button and it makes it roll. 
that has three roars. And I don't have one on me, but you look in there, you see that? I don't know if you can see it, but it's got like a throat. So if I had a human figure, which I don't right now, I could shove it down there. And if I put my finger down there, there's a little sensor that makes it do sound. is uh, probably a 7 out of 10. Not my fave, but it's really good for Indominus fans. Alright, next up we have my favorite real dinosaur that isn't made up like the Scorpius. <sighs> Boom! The Spinosaurus. I mean, I can't get enough of the Spinosaurus. It's just a beautiful dinosaur in general. I like the prehistorically accurate version a little more than the Jurassic Park version, but the Jurassic Park version is still pretty cool. So, it has a button on its neck, which is hard to press, but it makes it do that. And you can see its tongue going out and stuff, it's pretty cool. I love the paint job. The paint job is by far like the best part. Look at that, it's beautiful. And then the tail can move unlike somebody So the tail can spin around like this. And that's pretty nice. And then you if you pull the legs back like this. No, no, no. This leg goes back here. This leg goes back like that. Yeah, perfect. Look at that. Mine doesn't stand up like this. I think it's supposed to. But mine doesn't. Oh, I got mine to stand like this. Yeah, so... Not that much to talk about. Oh yeah, the arms are pretty cool too. The arms can do like movements like this and this. They have a little bit of movement outward. But yeah, that's pretty much all for the Spinosaurus. Overall, like I'd say it's a seven out of 10 as well as the Indominus. It's paint job and stuff is awesome. I just wish there was like a little more to it. You know, there's like, Nothing too awesome to write back home about here, other than the paint job and just the the mold entirely. But anyways, next up we have yeah, it's this one, the Statist Meekdrum. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm pretty sure it's the Statist Meekdrum, but uh, yeah. So this one is from the Primal Attack series. So that's the series where if I hold the tail here and hold his feet down, I can make his neck go like stuff. There's a button there that makes his mouth close. I don't know if it's just mine, but it won't close all the way, which is disappointing, but I don't know if it's just mine. I'll have to do research. If anyone else owns a status make room, hit me up. <laughs> I want to know. Yeah, so... It also has some arm articulation and stuff. All right, it's tail articulation is there. Uh, you twist it, yeah. Anyways, the design is awesome. Love this blue, love these little spines and stuff. That's what made me get it, the, the little action feature that it has with its neck spinning and uh, just the overall design. It looks really nice and uh, yeah. But it's just not too exciting overall. And it's a little small, in my opinion. Which is okay, I guess. It doesn't really matter. And also, look. Scutes. And then some scutes up here. But anyways, it's pretty good. I'd say a 6 out of 10. Next up, we have... Ah, yes. The Primal Attack Albertosaurus. Which is another in the Primal Attack series, which has a hard button to press, but it's easier than the Status Makes Rooms. The Status Makes Rooms button is really hard to press, but this one's fine. It is a little spiky, though. And I don't know if you'd define these as scutes, but they're good enough for me to call them scutes. I like the word scute, okay? <laughs> don't judge me. 
And other than that, it's practically the same. I mean, honestly, in my opinion, it looks better up like this. The status meek drum, I like it like this. Yeah. I don't really like it like this. I don't know. The Albertosaurus looks like it was meant to be like this. But, uh, yeah. Same score as Stage Meek Drum. 6 out of 10. Moving on. Next up is... Yep. The Scorpius Rex, uh... Danger Kenji Escape Pack, I think? So this pack came with Kenji from the show, uh, Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous, the Scorpius Rex, and a Gyrosphere. This is the Juvenile. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but... This one is a lot bigger. Let me make it stand up, not on all fours. And yeah, still, it's not really that close to the size. I mean, it is kind of, but yeah. The big, the adult is definitely bigger than the juvenile, is what I'm trying to say. So, yeah. This figure... Someone's driving a motorcycle. This figure, uh, it is really a, a lot of good articulation. You know, no buttons, no action features. Its jaw is really hard to open. It's easy to close, but gosh, it's hard to open. Its arms and stuff, it's got like, can go out like that and stuff. The articulation is really good in this figure. Like, I mean, just look at that. Like, that's pretty cool. Right? I'm not the only one who thinks that's cool. That's pretty cool. And then the tail is on a ball joint. So that's pretty cool. I don't like how the head... Hold on. I don't like the how the head can't go down. <laughs> it can't go down. It can only go up. It can go like that. But that's like snapping his neck. But whatever. 7 out of 10 in my opinion. I like the bigger one more. Anyways, next up, we have the, oops, hold on, there we go, the Endoraptor, the Dino Rebels Endoraptor. Now this one, if you like this guy because of articulation, then you're gonna love this guy. I mean, seriously, get a load of this articulation though, like, heck. Yeah, like the tail has two ball joints in it. That's awesome. And then the leg. Look at the leg. Look at the leg. Look at that. Look at that. Hold on. There. Look at that. You can make it like this. You can make the Endoraptor like this. I love the articulation. I'm just not a huge fan of the Endoraptor's design in general. I mean, it, it's cool and all, but it's kind of like meh compared to the other hybrids, in my opinion. I mean, there's some strong lovers of the Indoraptor, and one of my friends is one, but, yeah, she's kind of mad in my opinion. Six out of ten. Well, I feel like that's being a little harsh. You deserve a seven out of ten, because I'm in a good mood. Mood. Gosh. Get out of here. And finally, the last dino, we have the, oh boy, what was its name? What was his name? Oops, uh... Well, shut up. Gosh darn it. Uh, oh! Y ugh, I'm gonna butcher this. Yaichingosaurus! This one is new. I just got it today. It's a part of the new wave of Dominion toys for the new movie that's coming out, Jurassic World Dominion, which I've seen the trailers for. Looking epic! get my thumbs up in there there we go so this figure is awesome like look at that look at this articulation it's just so fun to mess around with look at these arms like look at that look at the arms oh i accidentally made him dab look at the arms like it's amazing like and then the tail look, the tail can like do this and that and it has a button on its tail like all the primal strike this one's just like, hey, I'm better than Primal Strike. Primal Attack. Whatever. I can't even remember. 
Let's get the, oops, sorry. Let's get the status meek germ as an example. Twist the tail, twist the neck, and button is really hard to press. Oh my god. There we go. When he closes his mouth, he doesn't even close it all the way. Look. Look at that. Anyway, I can close it all the way by myself. But this guy, this guy is just laughing at the stage of meek germ, the Albertosaurus, the Tarbosaurus, and the crocodile thing. I can't remember its name. It's just laughing at them. Because instead of just wiggling the neck and twisting the tail, you rotate, you... You rotate the tail, and it rotates the entire, like, left side of its body. Which is cool. And it has a button to make it bite, which is so easy to press. It is so refreshing. And, look at these horns. I've been doing, like, headbutts with it all day when I fight it with other dinosaurs. And, look at this. Look at this. Do you see that? It just went down. With me, putting it down. And if I put it back here, look at that. And then if I put it up, it can get even taller. I mean, just look at that. This figure is amazing, and I love it. 10 out of 10. Design, spectacular. And, uh, yeah, everything about this figure, spectacular. Well, now that I have a giant mess on my front porch, my mom's front porch, and a uh, cup to balance the phone with. Uh, that's it for this video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Eat cheese. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.